History says that the team that wins today cannot go on to win the grand final. But these footy fans say it's about time that history was rewritten. I think it's quite within their reach, yes. I think they've got every chance of making it this year. And never have a better chance. I still reckon they're the only side that can do it from where fifth position. After 100 minutes of football, this final concluded with a winner. Melbourne's premiership hopes were kept alive while Hawthorne's came to an end. Mark O'Brien, Seven Nightly News. And with all the highlights from another big Sunday of sport, Rob Asprey. Thanks very much, Peter. Good evening. A crowd of almost 75,000 at the MCG this afternoon saw Melbourne advance to the first semi-final with a bruising nine-point win over defending title holders Hawthorne. As Peter Landy reports, the Hawks star forwards were again taken out of the game by the strong Melbourne defence. In pressure finals football, it was 15 minutes before first goal came up to Hawthorne's John Platten. Their lead was short-lived, however, as Darren Bennett raced into an open goal for the Demons first, only moments later. Again, the honours were shared in the second. A mark and subsequent goal by Dermot Brereton put the Hawks ahead again until Stephen Stretch cut loose across the half-forward line. His second goal saw Melbourne looking good until Brereton marked once more in front and again converted. Melbourne won the match in the third quarter. Darren Bennett, well on top of Chris Langford, booted three, while Earl Spaulding added another after a strong mark directly in front. When Simon Eichel gold on the siren, the Demons' break had been stretched to four goals. Predictably, the Hawks fought back in the last. Ray Jenke, onto Dunstall for only his second for the day, gave them heart. And when Tony Hall added another, there was still time for Hawthorne to snatch victory. Demons skipper Greg Healy, however, sealed the game when he gold after a strong mark. It was Melbourne by nine points, their fourth straight win in an elimination final, but this time earning a one-week break. Peter Landy, seven, nightly news. And after the match, Ian Robertson spoke with the jubilant Melbourne coach, John Norby. To play Hawthorne and beat them two weeks in a row, I mean, we owed them plenty, and I suppose, you know, you can't go back and, and take history by the throat and win those games, but at least we won today, and, and it, there is some little bit of justice in what they've done to us, let's say, over the past few years. How's your heart at the moment? My heart must be very, very good, because uh, you get very excited in the box, of course, and tell them what to do and all that, knowing you couldn't do it yourself. But the boys were magnificent. I mean, it was just a real slog and a gut-wrenching game all day. But, you know, we kept in there. We kept hanging in there all the time. In the Hawthorne rooms, there was little to cheer about. Centre-half forward Dermot Brereton believes the Demons won the game with better use of the ball midfield. We'd like to get it out of the centre a bit more. Our Ruckman are doing well. And uh, I suppose when I, I'm only 20 yards away when the centre bounce goes on, but... Uh, the ball falls free and uh, makes its way to a Melbourne player's hands and then they pump it into their forward line, which makes a world of difference. Even if uh, they do drop an extra man into our back line, our forward line, uh, if we get it out of the centre, they're still under pressure. So, you know, out of the centre is very important. They also had the extra man around the ground to harass us and uh, minimise our usage of the ball. Certainly been a memorable day for the Melbourne Football Club. In the reserves qualifying final at the MCG, the Demons scored a 42-point victory over North Melbourne. 17 goals, 19 behinds Melbourne defeated North Melbourne, 11 goals, 13 behinds. The under-19s elimination final saw another big victory for the Demons. Melbourne, 23 goals, 13 behinds, defeating Hawthorne, 12 goals, 13 behinds. 